Hi guys, welcome to this video series on accounting for IGCSE students. In today's lecture, we shall understand the meaning of the terms revenue, expenditure and profit. So let's start with the first term revenues. Revenues are amount received or receivable by the business as a result of sale of goods, rendering of services or any other income earned by the business using its resources in the normal course of business. Now let's break this complex definition into smaller parts and understand each part. So when a business receives an amount of money or it is established that it will receive this amount in the future, in the normal course of business, then such amounts will be classified as revenues if these are as a result of one of these transactions. Sale of goods. We've already seen earlier that goods are products that the business normally deals in. So when a business is selling goods, the amount of sales received or receivable will be termed as revenue. Sometimes businesses are involved in rendering services to clients. So any amount received from customers or clients as a result of rendering services will also be classified as revenues or any other income earned by the business as a result of using its business resources. So revenues are amount received or receivable by the business as a result of sale of goods or services or any other income earned by using business resources in the normal course of business. So now let us understand what cannot be classified as revenue. Any amount received by the business out of transactions which do not fall under any of these will not be classified as revenues. For example, a loan received by the business. Let's say the business borrows a certain amount from a bank as loan. Though this amount is received, but it cannot be classified under any of these transactions. Hence, loans received from banks are not revenues. Another example that cannot be classified as revenue is sale of assets. When a business is selling its non-current assets, it will receive some sum of money. But since the transaction does not fall under any of these, you cannot classify that amount received as revenues. Revenues can also be called as incomes of the business. The next term that we need to see is expenditure. Expenditure is the amount spent by the business to acquire non-current assets for use in the business or buy goods for resale in the business or to avail any kind of service. In other words, amount spent on anything that may give some kind of benefit to the business. So the amount spent could be either money already paid or payable by the business in future. So we can say that any amount spent by the business will give either a long term benefit to the business or a short term benefit to the business. So expenditures that give a long term benefit include purchase or acquisition of a non current asset or improvement of existing non current assets of the business. If you remember, Non-current assets are assets that can be used by the business for a period of more than one year. In other words, such expenditures give a long-term benefit to the business. Expenditures that give a short-term benefit to the business include amount spent for buying goods which are meant for resale or availing services or anything else that will give benefit for less than one year. For example, amount paid for purchase of goods, salaries paid, rent paid, insurance premiums paid, etc. Such expenditures that give short term benefit to the business are also termed as expenses. In other words, expenses are amounts spent in the normal course of day to day business operations, the benefit of which will expire soon. So there's a clear difference between expenditure and expenses. The next term is profit. Every business is set up and run with a motive to earn profit or increase its profit. So profit is the excess of revenue earned over expenses incurred by the business. In other words, profit equals to revenue minus expenses. If the expenses of the business are more than the revenue, then the difference is termed as a loss. It is also important to understand the relationship between profit and capital. An owner will invest money or capital in the business so as to earn profit. Hence, the profits earned by the business eventually belong to the owner and hence have an effect of increasing the capital in the business. In other words, 
As the business earns more profits, the owner's claims on business assets keep on increasing. In contrast, losses are negative profits, hence have an effect of decreasing the owner's capital in the business. If you think that the video is useful, please like the video and share it with others. Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel to receive notifications when more videos will be uploaded. If you have any feedback regarding the video or you have any doubt regarding this topic, please comment below the video or you may WhatsApp me or email me on the details mentioned.